guys welcome back to my channel and i'll be doing my natural nails today this is how they look before anything a little ugly and i'll be just be using acetone to take them off i have my cotton balls a two just in case my nail file just to shape my nails a little a cuticle pusher and a cuticle clipper the nail polish i'll be using is gelato on my mind this is just like a minty bluish color and then just some regular clay. I don't really have a specific one I use. And I like to open both, like all of my nail polishes that I'm using, so that I don't have to ruin my nails, like after I finish like a coat or something like that. So I keep all of them kind of open, so I can just take out the little brush and it'll be easier. So first thing I'm gonna do is just push my cuticles. I don't really need to this time, but I just push like some of them, a couple of them, and I show you a little here, and I do the rest like off camera. So I finished both of my hands and now I'm going to just shape my nails with a nail file this time because I kind of like my length. So I just want to kind of straighten them out a little and that's all I'm doing. Also, the way I file my natural nails is similar to how I do it when I'm filing acrylic nails. So I basically do like the 45 degree angle like when I'm doing like coffin or something like that because that's the shape I want like my um natural nails to be in some people prefer like oval or some people just naturally grow round and that's how they keep it but yeah that's just how i file mine now i'm just gonna start painting and i don't usually use a base coat you can though if you want and i am in the process of looking for a good one but i'm just painting everything and the way i get like the best um application is usually start off from like the base of the nail and just use swipe up one and then right next to it and then the other side and then you just fill it in as you can see, I'm just doing the same thing to all of my nails and you're gonna see me doing it for both of my hands. I don't know how I did better with my left hand even though I'm a lefty. Wait, does that make sense? I don't know how I did better painting my left hand when I'm not even a righty. So this is how my nails look with one coat of the nail polish and then now I'm getting ready to do the second coat. And guys, let me just say, you will get better over time because I've been painting my nails since I was like 12, I feel like, and I still haven't even perfected it. But in my defense, I like the desk I was filming this on was a little lower and i usually paint my nails like on the kitchen table which is a lot higher and easier for me to like see get closer to my nails but i have gotten a lot better throughout the years And this is how my nails look after the second coat, which is all I'm doing. You can also do a third coat, but it's up to you, your preference. And now I'm gonna just add, after my nails dry a little, I am going to add the clear top coat so I can just like seal everything in and it helps it like stay on longer. And this is the final, oh my god, I can't even speak. This is the final product after like the base coat and everything. It looks pretty good. I didn't do as good as I expected, but it, this is how it turned out. And my nails usually last about a week until like it starts like chipping. It maybe starts chipping after like five days, but it stays on pretty long. So these are my nails. You can use Q-tips and acetone to take out any extra nail polish. And thank you for watching and hopefully... I don't go MIA again for two months, but bye. Remember the words you told me, love me till the day I die.